simple suggestion to live better the Lenten season. Penances and the commandment of love. Penances in the spirituality of unity are those offered to us by the daily life in our families, in our communities, in our workplace, in the parish, school, and with any brother and sister we meet during the day. Even if we live in the same family, we might have, for example, different habits, different tastes, different characters, personality clash, generation gap, different ideas, different vision of life, future needs. Evangelical Councils The three evangelical councils or councils of perfection in Christianity are chastity, poverty and obedience. But are these councils only for a consecrated person, a religious man or woman, or are these important also for any lay person, married or single? How can we leave these councils in our daily life? They are called evangelical councils, therefore they can be lived by anyone, of course, according to the various walks of life. But they can be important instrument to keep the focus on what is really important in our lives, to love God and our neighbor. We start from poverty. If we love, we are poor. When we love, we give time, things, words. We lose our ideas. We forget about our troubles. We give. We become poor in giving. Poverty means to be detached, to be ready to give, not to keep things we don't need, not to buy things we don't need, and to see if people I know are in need. So we can have a couple of questions for a reflection. Is there something taking my heart away from God? What should I be able to give more? Now we pass to the second, the obedience. We need to obey, but to the will of God. The will of God is given us by the circumstances, by our parents, by our boss at work, by our professors in college, by our children's need, by our daily duties like work, studies. But we do not have to obey to our parents or our boss. We have to love them. Nothing like love to make a person obedient. We often have problems with our parents, our boss at work, our children. We forget that they are all candidates for our love. To do the will of God means that that work or study I have to do is what God is asking me in the present moment. Even my seven, eight hours of night sleep is the will of God for me. So we can have also here with obedience as more reflection. Do I obey to the will of God? How can I improve during this Lenten season my adherence to the will of God? We go now to chastity. Everyone can be just. When we love, we are pure, out of ourselves. We should think about others first, not about ourselves. We should remember to love everyone. When we are in a group, in a 
work in a parish, with the relations, with friends in the focolare. We never close ourselves only with one or few people. Always be open to everyone. We can encounter problems because we do not love everyone with the same intensity. We form groups separated and we cut out ourselves from some people. Even in the family, love should be open to others. We should keep our doors open. In this way, our family will become a big family with many brothers and sisters ready to welcome everyone. If our heart is open, we can really experience that people come to us for an advice, to share something, to feel the love of God. They feel welcome because we are pure. We do not judge. We are able to listen. Our mind is not full, but ready to make space for others. Even a small reflection on chastity. Am I open to everyone? What are the obstacles? Are the door of my family open? <laughs>